What's up, YouTube? This is Muyanzi Reed doing another Microsoft Surface Duo review or video. It's not really a review, but it is kind of a review on one of my favorite launchers besides uh, Microsoft Launcher and uh, Launcher 10. I also kind of use uh, Niagara, which I you know have a yearly subscription with, so I haven't really used it in about a year. Um, maybe when I first downloaded it and first made the full premium purchase, you know, the it was kind of it was really different than now. You know, I had a one screen phone and it was cool, but I just got kind of bored with it faster than usual. You know, so I never really used it again. So I got curious after I got the Microsoft Surface Duo to see how would Niagara work with two screens. So. Let's get into it. Uh, when you first download Niagara onto most Android devices, probably if you're one of these one screen dudes, is you know you have had you have this view. You know you got the one screen. You got you got you. now. This is what Niagara offers. It's a pretty simple and clean uh, launcher that not too much customization, not too much tweaking is involved. You know it's, it kind of is what it is. You know. You got your time up top, you know, you got your date, you got the weather, 27 fucking degrees, damn. <laughs> you know, I live in Georgia, you know what I'm mean? saying, it's fucking, you know, this is not Georgia weather, but anyway, anyway. so, uh, you, you know, and then, you know, I got YouTube playing, and then they give you eight apps to pretty much put on your, uh, on your home screen, you know, you got maybe like six that you choose yourself. And then the launcher picks two more that you really use a lot. So um, now to get to the rest of your apps, you know, I got to put this phone down when I'm using it because sometimes it's kind of hard to hold and hard to navigate with one hand. You know, it is a beast like that. You know, this is how you get to all your apps. You know, as you can see, it's kind of hard to get to because I don't think it was ever actually optimized for Android 10 like that. You know, but this is how you get to your thing. You see, you see, I was trying to get to this little scrolling thing, and it's kind of hard to get to it sometimes because the, the phone thinks you're trying to go back. You know, you're trying to go back all the time instead of trying. See, I'm trying to see. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. You know, but let me actually try to go back this time. She's like, now it won't let me go back. <laughs> all right, there it goes. Uh, okay, so that's, that's one issue, you know, that it's hard to go back and it's hard to try to get to all your apps, you know, because the screen thinks you're trying to do the back gesture. Um, it's probably mainly because I'm trying, I'm looking through this phone camera and not through my own eyes, but anyway, anyway, so as you can see, it's on the surface looks pretty simple but you still get pretty you still get notifications you know with some, you know, some uh, chat that i'm in uh, instagram you know you see you see uh youtube notifications you know you can in, in like a little pop-up window and um uh, birthdays and blah blah all right so at this at this point, it's a pretty good launcher. You know, you can get to your apps, you can get to your notifications, you can see what's the weather, you can see the time, you got a cool background, you know, you can customize the icons to your heart's content. Um, matter of fact, let me go to the damn uh, the Niagara settings. See, <laughs> show you how that looks. All right, Niagara settings. So, like I said, I got the pro version. Um, you know, it goes to features. You got the Niagara widget. You know, pretty much shows that's the that's the widget that you usually gotta pay for to get your the weather, they get the calendar, and get the media and shit like that. You know, you got the you can turn on home screen notifications. Smith, let's say you know I want them on, but let's say you don't want them on. You want an extra cool, clean, um, home screen without those little arrows everywhere. You know, you can click that off if you want to. You got hidden apps. You got your app shortcut shortcuts. You got you know the quick lock gesture. You got a lot of you got a lot of uh, options on here. You know, it's not just you know. You got a lot of options. Okay, you got a lot of options. Uh, you, the look you can you customize the look of the icons. You know, it's pretty customizable for the most part. It's not 
super customizable, but it's customizable for the most part. Advanced, you know, you got an app info, change log. You can restart a, a, this launcher or you can, you know, put in a different launcher, you know. Very simple settings, you know. I think I can't remember like just like the just like the launcher 10 video. I can't really remember what was the price for the pro option, but you know, the pro option also gives you a, a way to get to Google quickly. You know, I was reading some Google news earlier. You know, get you to Google quickly. You know, it's 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 a cool launcher, bro. But the one problem I have, I would use this over the Microsoft launcher, but you know. I'm going to show you why I'm not really feeling this too much. I mean, I wish I could feel it more because it's a cool launcher for the most part. You know, it's, it's clean, not too much shit all over both screens. You pretty much just got your one screen with, all your, you know, your main home screen. And this side is where all your, uh, is where you scroll and look for apps and shit. And it's totally clean. You know, nothing on that side. You can really admire your wallpapers. Uh, mind you, if you're wondering where I'm getting all my wallpapers, I get it from an app called uh, 4K Wallpapers. So that's that. And uh, so, okay, so look, let's say I'm in Lyft, I'm trying to find a Lyft to 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 to, to get to to some club or something. And let's say I want to also go on the internet and check something. Uh, you know what restaurants are around that area? Okay, so. There's no way I can get to it from this screen. I will have to literally scroll using this little scrolling thing. Find which app I need, you know, by letter. And then flick this over to the side. There goes the G's where I selected and click on to Google. You know, that is one or two extra steps than I would have on the the any other launcher, you know, the Microsoft launcher or the the um, launcher 10 for, you know, the Windows Phone launcher. One extra step can hinder your performance, you know, especially you try to do things quick. It's already, this device is already huge, so it's kind of hard to do things quick. And you're always thinking about, you know, the possibility of you dropping it to do something quick. So, you know. One or two extra steps is kind of a lot in that case, you know, but it's not that big a deal. I, you know, it just takes, it just takes some practice. You know, if I, if I'm practicing how to, you know, to flick, flick the apps to uh, each side, I'm going to really do that shit that much. That's probably why, you know, I'm, I'm kind of bitching about it, but you know, I'm going to keep practicing. If I don't really like it, I'm going to switch back to, um, to, uh, launcher 10. You know, I kind of want to review that block launcher next, but I got some other videos in mind. Keep 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 supporting this Surface Duo community we got. You know, it's not the biggest community in the world, but we seem to be pretty loyal. You know, we, we see somebody else with a Surface Duo, you know, got to salute them, got to big them up, got to tell them, you know what I'm saying? You know, they just part of the part of the crew, you know? Um, I took my Surface Duo out today, and oh my God, I slick wanted to keep it in my pocket because so many people was just on my dick all day, bro, about fucking yo, what phone was that? What phone was that, man? That phone's cool, bro. Yo, man, is that that Galaxy Z Flip, Z Fold? I'm like, hell nah, it's a Microsoft Surface Duo. You know what I'm saying? It was like, man, I don't like that gap in the middle. And then I demonstrated that it's made for two apps at a time. And, you know, even if the gap is in the middle, you can always uh, rotate the screen and, you know, you got this huge tablet type thing, you know, and then the, the content in the middle, not all, you know, you got to go through the whole thing. And then, you know, I mean, you know, people be capping these days, but it sounded like he was seriously to consider buying one. So that's me, by the way. <laughs> uh, anyway, everybody be safe. Let me get this shot here. Well, Yanzi Re signing out. I don't know which video I'm gonna do next. I'm probably gonna just demonstrate Netflix on this because Netflix has a little feature. It's not too crazy, but I wish every single uh video streaming 
type of app would, would utilize that with the Surface Duo? We'll get into that next video. All right. Everybody be safe. We honestly read. Signing out.